This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. Ten oh seven at WPSL, the talk of the Treasure Coast. The views expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of WPSL. However, you're encouraged to like and share them on Facebook. It's time for Joanne's World of Nutrition. Brought to you by Nutrition World in downtown Fort Pierce across from City Hall, Orange Avenue, between, yeah, US 1 between Orange Avenue and Avenue A. That's where you'll find Joanne. When she's not here at the studio, and she'll be in here in just a few moments. In the meantime, it's Dr. Ravi Week. So let's get started with Joanne's World of Nutrition. Introducing her guest co-host this week, Dr. Ravi. Good morning to you. All righty, here we are on another great Thursday, huh? Good morning, everyone. Yeah. We have an exciting show for everyone this morning. Okay, an exciting show? An exciting show. All right, we're going to get Full of to... knowledge for yeah. everyone. Okay. Oh, and we, we'll start it out the same way that we usually do when Joanne's here and get everybody, uh, what I call, in the zone. Yes. Because uh, what the breathing exercise that we do uh, can really, really help you out if you suffer from stress or other uh, maladies out there that occur. Uh, the meditation thing is a very viable and working a solution to, to some of this uh, stress that we uh, go through. It really easy to do. What we'll do is uh, we're going to do it three three times this time. Let's do three. Three. We'll do three of them. And what we'll do, we'll first we'll let all the air out of us, and then it will slowly inhale through our nostrils with our mouths closed. We'll, we'll do this for five seconds, a nice slow intake, and then a, and then a hold for for five seconds, and then a slow release. It'll take five seconds. So it'll be five seconds. Five seconds and five seconds. The uh, in intake through the nostrils, the hold for five, and then the slow five-second release. So if you get started, I'll count it down for you all. If everybody ready? All righty. Now, let me remind you that if you're in your car, do not close your eyes while doing this. Unless you want to pull over. And then don't forget, you can always do this at home anytime you want for as long as you want until you... Uh, obtain the effects that you desire. Are we ready? We're ready. We are ready. Okay. Let's do it. All right, it. let's let it all out. Okay, now let's begin with the inhale through the nose. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Release. One, two, three, four, five. Again, in. One, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Release. Two, three, four, five. One more time. Inhale through the nostrils. Two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Release. One, two, three, four, five. You can open your eyes now. Wow. Did that help you? Definitely did. All right. Felt some stress removed. Yeah, uh, you can tell because there's always some kind of a pressure, and, and sometimes some people feel it all over their body. Some just feel it in their in their brain. Their brain feels tired and stressed yes. out. And this, uh, well, breathing is recommended by most healthcare professionals. It should be the number one thing recommended by everyone. Yeah, <laughs> you know, people don't realize how simple a lot of uh, health issues can be uh, alleviated with breathing. And drinking water. Yes. And, and there are other uh, supplements that you can use that we'll be telling you about on today's show, no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so J I heard through uh, the Facebook grapevine about uh, Joanne taking the kids up to Georgia, and I thought maybe that was today. But I'm wrong. She's on her way in, isn't she? She is, yes. Ah, yes. She's right. probably just running a little behind but we're ready to get the show started yeah yeah uh, did you have a topic for today because we, we can always talk about your practice because the folks need to know of course yes family uh, tradition family chiropractic yes right located Ooh. right in tradition in wow. uh, port st lucy uh you know our, our main mission is uh creating a health revolution as a okay. compelling choice for chiropractic yeah. and holistic living Yes. Yeah. yeah. So when we when we put all the five essentials that we teach our patients uh -huh. in a package and give it to them, they're able to live their life 
without any type of disease wow. or uh, dysfunction. You mean uh, if having your, they'll say your back is out of line, does that make you vulnerable to diseases and malfunctions? Of course, it affects the immune system, which is oh. what we're talking about today. Ooh, and okay. uh, can cause, uh, when we have a low functioning immune system, can definitely be one of the main culprits for cancer. Wow. And as we know, this is the Cancer Awareness Month. Oh my, yes, that's true. That's why all the pink shirts and mm -hmm. pink socks and pink cars and pink uh, fire trucks. <laughs> I mean, everything is pink for uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah. So, Cliff, I want to start off with the um, that breathing exercise that we just did this morning and how it affects our overall health. Okay. And when it comes to stress. All right. Yeah. So, you know, when we're fighting off a um, bacteria or virus, um, stress decreases that n the number of lymphocytes, which is basically um, our the the white blood cell that uh, fights infections. Yes. So okay. when we're stressed, that number becomes very low, and then we become vulnerable to these bacteria or viruses. Ooh, okay. So we become we, ill. Yeah. Yeah, and so um, the result of that is definitely. Uh, illness so whether it's the cold the flu and these are all just the tipping point for major issues down the road always remember the opposite of illness is wellness, wellness. yes right. yes yeah. and so that's why uh, i love to partner up with joanne because we're on that same mission of getting this education well, to our community yeah and you've got two different methods they're very effective you the chiropractic practice and nutrition specialist to Joanne. Yes. What a team, because uh, between the two of you, uh, you cover a lot of territory. We do, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And so um, when when those numbers, those lymphocytes get decreased, mm -hmm. once again, it's gonna cause our body to uh, become stress. Ah. So just doing this simple exercise in the morning oh, will yeah. help us regain our white blood cell count so they become the you know the fighters mm -hmm. the knights of our immune system and so they can fight off all these viruses all these bacteria that we come in with on a daily basis so a reduction in stress mm -hmm. can help your immune system definitely okay. and the number part and the number uh, you know breathing awesome the n other thing is uh, making sure we're getting seven to nine hours of sleep a night yeah and when I say sleep, I mean quality sleep. <laughs> oh. Uninterrupted. <clears throat> this is, you know, the, the body's restorative approach when it comes to healing. That's when our body heals. These, That's what uh, I'm looking forward to next week. <laughs> sleeping, catching up on the, oh, on the sleep oh, you lost. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go into detail, but uh, anybody who suffers from chronic pain, they're the only ones that really understand it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, there's other people who do not suffer from chronic pain have no idea what some people have to go through. And, and there's no uh, there's nothing I can do about it until I do what I have to do on Monday. <laughs> then the healing begins. It'll, it'll heal. Just yeah. make sure we're getting enough rest. Yeah. Right. Uh, giving your body the best ability to heal. Oh, um, yes. You know, sometimes it's important for everyone, you know, to take that time, whether it's, you know, every quarter where you just, you know, get away from your daily activities mm -hmm. and making sure you're getting your restful sleep, making sure you're getting water and doing these breathing exercises to restore, you know, your, your health. And you know, the breathing exercise, uh, somebody once said, uh, have you ever tried me meditation? Would you like to try meditation? Got a minute? Because you can try meditation for a minute at a time, or you can do it for six hours if you want. I mean, uh, don't worry about falling asleep. You know, but uh, you'd have to really be tired. If you get enough sleep already, you probably wouldn't have any problems with meditation. Just, yeah. You just kind of just keep that breathing the way that we showed you how to do it five seconds in, hold for five seconds and release. You do that for a prolonged period of time, and uh, you'll figure out things that have been perplexing you for a long time. Your brain will work a little bit better, you know? Yeah. And, <clears throat> uh, you and know, more energy, more energy to exercise, too. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And inspiration with that energy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and, and that's uh, exercising is actually um, our fourth essentials that we teach essential that we teach our patients uh -huh. getting oxygen in our body. Uh, you know, cancer hates oxygen. So if yeah. you're not getting enough oxygen in the body, mm -hmm. we're building cancer cells. Wow. And every day, seven days a week. 365 days of the year uh -huh. we're, we're all accumulating cancer cells yeah and it's whether those proliferate and then we get diagnosed with the cancer so what we can do for our best is uh exercise 
reduce our stress, mm -hmm. and take care of ourselves when it comes to nutrition. That's why we also warn about sugar, because uh, sugar feeds cancer cells. It and, does. It makes them Oh, we'll strong. get on that that that, yeah. that rant there. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, that's a good one to be, get on, that's for sure. Yeah. So, you know, practicing a, a lifestyle with a moderate intense activity, so... Mm -hmm. Whether that's jogging, swimming, you know, doing uh, Pilates or even yoga mm -hmm. uh, for about 30 minutes a day, three to four times a week okay. will definitely boost the immune system. All right. Increase those lymphocytes, those white blood cells. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, those white blood cells, when they all come together to help you in a certain area and they build up and build up, that's uh, basically when something gets infected what we call pus, right? Pus, yeah, that's yes. that's uh, inflammation. Yeah. yeah, the inflammation from it. And, of course, uh, knowing knowing that, uh, you, you want to kind of starve out that, and he'll tell you how to do it. Yes. And, and with other ways, like a chiropractor, what a chiropractor does for you relieves so much stress. Uh, sometimes it's just a little. I've noticed that sometimes in the, in the back, uh, a smoker, for example, will be coughing their guts out like they'll do because they're a smoker and it'll pop a rib out of the backbone back in there. And that is painful I hear. Yeah, yeah. Thank God it's never happened to me but yeah. uh, it is painful and I do see a lot of patients that do have a rib that's, uh, you know, out and due you, to the misalignment of the spine. And you can feel that. You can run your fingers down either side of the spine and find one that's out. Like, of course, oh yeah. Goodness. And, and um, you know how to find out if you do have a rib that is out, it mm -hmm. is often going to hurt when you take a deep breath in. Right, right. And when you pop it back in, it's going to hurt a little bit. But then it's not going to hurt And anymore. then you feel like you have life now. Yes. <laughs> it's one little pop and... Uh, well, some chiropractors use a little tool to do that. Some some are very talented with their hands and are able to to, to make that uh, uh, spinal. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's talk a minute about that. Um, so I do use a tool mm -hmm. in my practice, and I use that tool to help with the muscles uh, okay. because our muscles help hold our spine and our ribs in place. Oh, and they're affected when we have pain from our, our bones being out of place. Exactly. Ah, yes. Okay. But you know what's amazing here, Cliff? The, the, the spine protects the nervous system, Yeah. right? Yep. And so if you have a bone that's misaligned, it mm -hmm. can cause aches and pain, but it also depletes your organ from functioning properly. Ooh. So just think of that, um, the smoker who's coughing a lot right. uh, and uh, they have a rib that's popped out. Mm -hmm. Not only is it affecting their muscles that's holding the rib, yeah. but it can also be affecting their lungs on oh. top of being a smoker. Right. Wow. Yeah. So uh, what I get to do is manually adjust the spine so that I, I love working with my patients with my hands. Mm -hmm. uh, but now if we have a patient that has osteoporosis or osteopenia, which is just the density of the bone is very thin. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to make sure we deliver the best care to them. That's when I would use the instrument okay. to do that. So each every care, all the care in my office is tailored for that one particular patient. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, along with the chiropractic adjustment, the nervous system uh, and the immune system are actually interconnected. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the core chiropractic that I teach and deliver in the practice removes that interference and helps with a good inflammatory response. So mm -hmm. inflammation is, is good. Uh, however, when it's chronic, right. that's when it becomes the issue. Yeah. Yeah. So like if we bump our, you know, ankle or our knee on our bed, you know, it's going to be sore. Yeah. It's a mechanism where your body's, you know, all the white blood cells are going to that area to help repair any type of tissue, bruised muscle. Right. But it's only for, you know, three to four days. But right. when something turns into more chronic, yep. then we run into issues. We I run see. into scar tissue and your body starts, you know, uh, thinking it's invading that scar tissue. So then we develop chronic inflammation. Right. That's where the problem is. Oh. Yeah. So if anyone has any questions, uh, give us a call. I'm here to answer those questions. And that number is 340-1590. That's right. And you know, there's no question that... Uh, we don't consider any question to be a silly one because why why ask a question? Because you want to have the knowledge, so you ask the question. Don't knowledge worry is about power. What it sounds like. Yeah, knowledge is power, and you have the power to uh, take good care of your immune system. 
Yeah. And so uh, one research that I love sharing, especially with the power of chiropractic and the power of an adjustment, Uh uh, when you look at patients that have like um, HIV or even AIDS, Uh you'll find out because we know that's an immunodeficiency issue. uh, You'll see that their CD4 cell counts are very low. And that's how it's uh, diagnosed. CD4 for counts. CD4. So that uh, measures their immune system, basically. Okay. Uh, and so uh, with chiropractic adjustments, uh, it, it can increase those CD4 levels. Wow. So okay. just, that's just to show you how powerful the chiropractic adjustment is to the thoracic spine. Chiropractors, they're not just pulling your leg. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, uh, actually, those adjustments are actually doing something positive for you. That uh, Yeah, many you, of my patients uh, find, uh, you know, their, their stress is relieved when we're, you know, you think of the average person working at a desk, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And their stress, you know, with, the, with our posture today, it's uh, causing mm-hmm. the, uh, our head to be shifted forward, adds stress on our, uh, uh, in our cervical spine, in our mm-hmm. neck. What Ooh. that does, it actually causes a lot of pain, discomfort in the cervical or neck, in the spinal area. Oh, yeah. And the chiropractic adjustment removes that stress. And so they're able to breathe better. They're able to decrease their stress. Would you re- not recommend folks to, I've seen these, you know, these muscle guys. They mm-hmm. like to pop their own neck by twisting their heads just right. Uh, is that not... A good thing to do it's not because no. if you're you know not what it does what's, what can it do they're they're what they're doing is uh just moving their their spine their joints yeah. and it's not specific so they're actually creating more injury so they're injuring themselves while trying to show off exactly they turn their heads and you hear it pop you who just dude's going to beat me up yeah <laughs> so they're they're not specific with that type of right. movement okay. and uh what that does it can cause ligament issues ligament injuries now, what about these folks? I, I've run into a couple folks uh, over the years that somebody who thinks that they know how to grab your head and do a neck adjustment like that. That's Ooh. actually dangerous for a non-professional. That is it? that is dangerous. That's not recommended for anybody but a chiropractor. Yes. Because could you imagine you're just trying to help somebody and you think because you've seen it done before that you know how to do it, but you don't. And, uh, well, there are some serious injuries that can be avoided by not doing that yourself, right? Exactly. Wow. Yeah. You're talking about fractures yeah. of your spine. You're talking about muscle issues mm-hmm. um, that become chronic strains over oh, time. Yeah. And uh, this can lead into problems later on. And do I see that in practice? Definitely I do. You can tell that they've been doing that. Oh, yes. Ooh. yeah, And they even admit it. Oh, yeah, they brag. They, they try to impress you. They want to impress yeah. you because you're a chiropractor. Oh, I have my daughter stand on my de- on my, uh, on my back, oh. and uh, it well, definitely caused damage. Well, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and, and, of course, especially if you have large daughters like mm-hmm. I do, they're going yeah. to they, get mad at me for saying that they're not. But, <laughs> but I know what you're talking about. I know, I've known people that would have somebody, please walk on my back for me. Yeah. D- go see a chiropractor. Now, the reason why people say it feels good when they do this self-adjusting technique uh-huh. is what happens, it releases endorphins, which yeah. is a feel-good hormone. Mm-hmm. So they get a great, uh, they get a, a self-satisfaction a out fix. of doing uh-huh. that. Yeah. However, long-term, there's damage associated with it. Ooh, danger, So danger, when you see danger. a chiropractor, yeah. especially a corrective chiropractor, they're looking and they're evaluating your spine. You know, mo- most times, uh, many of the times, they're taking x-rays. They're doing a specific posture checks. Yeah. They're looking at your range of motion. And um, they're able to develop a plan for you and know how to adjust you without doing it blindly. Right, folks. And so remember... Them chiropractors, when, before they start adjusting you, they x-ray you so they can see what's going on in there. Mm-hmm. Before, where somebody else will come right along and they'll say, this is how it's done, just like this. And and either it doesn't work or they mess something up. You got to see a chiropractor for these adjustments because they do it right. Mm-hmm. And uh, they, they x-ray first. They, they check the posture. You see... Uh, Yes, we do check posture. Um, that's I, very important. I've, I know somebody with uh, severe scoliosis in their back. That no chiropractor really wants to mess with it because it's a it's 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 always been that way. In fact, all of uh, the the sibling daughters of this person all have scoliosis in their back, very similar to S like shape. Yes, and uh, you can't 
adjust those because there's cartilage that's built up. That if you try to adjust those, I guess the cartilage can actually break and cause major damage to the spine. Yeah, and you can also cause inflammation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so sometimes it's just, you know, maintaining it where it's at, making sure it doesn't get worse. Wow. Wow. That's what we do. But we do specialize in structural correction of the spine. So we do take care of a lot of patients that have scoliosis. Uh-huh. And some are manageable and some we have to refer out to orthopedic. Uh, right. Those are mainly the older ones that have gone years and years without any type of care. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, if any folks have any questions mm-hmm. for Dr. Ravi, hey, give us a call. 340-1590-772-340-1590. Uh, Dr. Ravi will be glad to answer any and all of your questions uh, regarding what he is, uh, experts in uh, the uh, the manipulation of your spine or the chiropractic practice. Yes, uh, especially when it comes to the, the spine. Okay. Yes. Three four zero fifteen ninety. Now, we're, we're waiting on confirmation from the, the main office out there screening the calls for us. But uh, it's important. You don't want to do this stuff yourself. No. And you don't no. want to let a friend do it. How would you feel... If you were helping your friend and you gave them a neck injury that would require, could it require surgery if they messed up? It could. If it's a fracture, then that's orthopedic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, It really becomes bad news. Keep it chiropractic. Don't let it go orthopedic. Leave (laughs) it alone and call Dr. Ravi because uh, he can help out. And of course, now, either side of the manipulations that, that you do, are there supplements that, that people take that uh, help along with the adjustment and the healing? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, you know, one of our um, famous ones or the big ones that I do recommend my patients is Daily Defense. Um, Daily Defense. Daily Defense. What it has it is uh, um, it's, it's uh, curcumin, okay. so turmeric okay. with bioprene. So that helps with um, the absorption All right. of the turmeric. Uh, okay. It also has Indian gooseberry. Indian gooseberry is full of antioxidants. Wow. And so with inflammation, what we find is the body is low on that antioxidant. And so increasing our antioxidants with, in, with Indian gooseberry will definitely decrease the inflammation, help decrease pain yeah. that one is having. Well, a medical doctor, when you go see a medical doctor, <laughs> uh, they'll prescribe you medication. Now, when you go to a chiropractor, what do they do? They prescribe uh, supplements? Yeah, we prescribe supplements or um, look at the diet, the nutrition, mm-hmm. and um, recommend more, you know, whether it's someone that's fighting inflammation. Mm-hmm. Maybe they need to increase their antioxidant levels from a, um, you know, a supplement. Mm-hmm. Or if they want to get it from their food nutrition, we'll advise them on, you know, making sure you're getting a lot of berries in your food, uh-huh. making sure you're gr- eating a lot of greens. Yep, yep. It, yes. Exactly. And, and the um, darker the green, the better. <laughs> exactly, yes, like the kale and the spinach. Um, you, also, the Daily Defense has the N-acetylcysteine, uh-huh. which is the backbone of glutathione. Wow. And glutathione is the major antioxidant in our body. Okay. So when we're inflamed, that level is going to be decreased. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. If Joanne were here, you know what she'd be saying right about now? What would she say? A break. Take a break, Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Dr. Ravi in for Joanne, who will be joining us shortly. You're listening to Joanne's World of Nutrition, presented by Nutrition World. In fact, presented by Joanne's Nutrition World. Go to www.joannesnutritionworld.com or go to YouTube, look for WPSL TV, and find Joanne's World of Nutrition's archives. We'll be right back. Hey, it's Dr. Ravi at Tradition Family Chiropractic. We are dedicated to serving you and your family with integrity, compassion, and innovative care through the most advanced chiropractic care ever in chiropractic history, encouraging your health and your family's health to its maximum potential on a regular basis. Call us today at 772-345-0060 or schedule online at traditionhealth.com for your free consultation. Guiding the Treasure Coast in health, one person at a time. That's their motto at Joanne's Nutrition World, Suite 121, in the historic arcade building on US 1, downtown Fort Pierce. Joanne brings more than 25 years of experience in the natural health industry. 
right here to you. Take advantage of this free personal guide to wellness and good health. Meet with Joanne herself and get started. Nutrition World always provides you with the hottest new product lines, natural and homeopathic remedies, herbals, and best of all, expert advice from the people who care. Call Joanne at 464-3598, 464-3598, and learn the correlation between diet and great health. Stop in today. The expert guidance to health is always free at Nutrition World. Nutrition World, Suite 121 in the Arcade Building, US1, downtown Fort Pierce. On your radio at AM 1590, on the web, plus Google Home and Alexa. Ask for us by name, WPSL Digital 1590. Welcome back to Joanne's World of Nutrition. And possible, there's a slight possibility that uh, Joanne might not make it in today because uh, we do know that uh, she was planning on a road trip and we thought that maybe just maybe uh, she might not be here today she might not but then again she might so we'll we'll still be hopeful in the meantime dr ravi is here with us and you've got some nutritional information for us yeah so once again i've got joanne's back yeah (laughs) chiropractor got your back get it literally and figuratively (laughs) not just pulling your leg we got your back. <laughs> Love yes. that. Line. So, um, on top of those supplements that we were just talking on before our break, um, you know, nutrition, we're big believers that we are made to eat. So, we want to get our proper nutrients in through food. But oftentimes, here, Cliff, is through the, the processing of food, through the um, cultivation, or through the, 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 the materials that are used in the farming industry many of our nutrients are depleted. Oh yeah. So we're not getting the proper nutrients as we did, you know, 30, 50 years ago as our grandparents were growing up. We even cook cook the nutrition out of our food sometimes. Yeah, so this is why supplementation is very okay. far, very, very far important um, <clears throat> when it comes to ailments and just maintaining health. Okay. Now, uh, there, you know, when it comes to stress and cancer, we want to uh, eat more cruciferous vegetables. And these cruciferous vegetables, they're going to be our broccoli, our kale, our cabbage. And the, con- the component of uh, these vegetables, what's found in them is the indole 3 carbonyl, which is a great chemical property that helps fight off cancer cells. Ah. Yes. And it's... Uh, basically broken down when we're eating these whole foods when we're chewing so you want to make sure you're chewing these cruciferous vegetables really well okay. you're taking time to chomp on these also a little tidbit here is uh we shouldn't be drinking like water with our meal because that affects that digestive process oh so if you find yourself not getting the nutrients and through nutri- you, you know not getting the the kale or the 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 broccoli, the cabbage in our in our food daily, this is where I would recommend supplementing with uh, something that contains indole three carbonyl. So well, that uh, that that water thing, um, that would count with the uh, drinking any liquids or fluids with any food, liquids. Right? Yeah. Yep. Wow. So uh, even soda, which. Well, not the best choice, right? We've we've learned the hard way about soda, even diet soda, especially oh, diet soda. Yes, because that leads us into our next topic: the sugars. Ah, yeah, you know, cancer, yeah. cancer, and stress mm-hmm. love sugar. Yep. yep, you'll find that when we're stressed, many many people, you know, are going to crave sugary foods. What do what do we do? We grab a, a a chocolate bar. Yeah, we grab the candy and 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 try to relieve the stress. The little endorphin kick off for a few minutes. Yeah, uh, and it, it feels good because of these endorphins. However, it's causing the health impact. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And so when we're actually going to a doctor's office, like an oncologist, and we're being diagnosed with cancer mm-hmm. or um, looking for inflammation, they do this scan. It's called a PET scan. Okay. So the PET scan, what it is, is actually um, where they inject a radioisotope of sugar. And this sugary substance goes right to where there's inflammation, really? where their cancer site is. So it lights up on this scan. Oh, okay. okay. And that's one of the main diagnoses that they use to um, 
diagnose cancer. Okay. It's basically a sugar substance. It's like a trap that sets some bait in it. Exactly. And they go for the bait, and uh, then uh, that's how they can be dealt with. Yeah, so many of my patients that have cancer or fighting an autoimmune condition mm -hmm. or just have a poor immune system, I often recommend staying under 15 grams of sugar a day okay. because this does feed that cancer. It does feed that inflammation. Don't drink Coca-Cola after Coca-Cola, 50 grams per can of sugar. Yes, uh, you know, and so a good switch off here is instead of a, instead of using sugar like table sugar, mm -hmm. using stevia, xylitol, yeah. monk fruit. I know Joanne has this great product in her store, um, the monk fruit. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a great sweetener. It's very. It takes you. It goes a long way. You just have to use a very little. Yeah. Yeah, sugar. You know, and very bad for diabetics. It actually increases insulin resistance. Uh, and actually increases the aging process of our body through glycation, which, uh, um, once again, hinders our immune response. Mm -hmm. Yep. You don't want that uh, that immune response to uh, be hindered because you need that. Yep. That's and when you develop disease or dis-ease. Ah, dis-ease. It's, dis it's ease that has been dissed. Yes. And we usually do it ourselves, don't we? We do. <laughs> wow. The next thing I want to talk about is some herbs and spices, like uh, our daily defense, um, including turmeric, garlic, and ginger. Okay. These uh, spices contain compounds that boost the immune system, like okay. ginger, ginger rolls, yeah. and the ginger actually helps the digestive system, helps decrease the chances of having an onset of colon cancer, along oh. with the, the turmeric. Uh, now... You can go into to some of these stores that uh, that have uh, ex exotic foods from different countries, and you can uh, actually find ginger beer. To us, uh, it's it's like concentrated ginger ale is what I think of it. But yes. the ginger that you're talking about is that the same ginger that's in the ginger beer beverage? Be it's not a, <laughs> it's not an alcoholic beverage. It is not an alcoholic yeah. beverage. It's actually uh, the fermentation that they use to get that that beer consistency, that oh. carbonation. Oh, okay. um, be aware of this because there's a lot that's in the market, uh -huh. and they'll say 100% ginger. But when you flip uh -huh. over onto the ingredients, yeah, where's oh. the ginger? Wow. Right? Wow. Yeah, I never thought of that. Yes. So this is why you should, uh, and it's loaded with sugar. Uh, so when you think you're doing yourself a great justice by, ooh, there's ginger beer on the and on the shelf, I'm going to grab this, okay. we're developing pr problems. Now, are there actual supplements that contain ginger in them, or is there something practical that we can munch on once in a while that has ginger in it? Yeah, so you can definitely munch on it, throw that into your food. However, Joanne does have some great supplements that I'm sure you that do have ginger and the ginger components in it to fight inflammation. Oh, yeah. And to regain um, immune response. She's awesome when it comes to creating salads with different stuff in it that you don't expect to find in it. Like, like uh, take a grater and grate a little bit of beets into a salad. Give yeah. it a little, give it a little a color. A little color. Make but, it colorful, more enjoyable. Yeah. Kids and, will like that. Yeah, yeah. Kids love the colorful. And they might even eat their vegetables if they look cool. If it looks cool, you know they're going to eat it because they want to be cool. Yes. <laughs> so and they want to take it to school because it looks cool. Right. See, and then they can create peer pressure to help other kids eat the right foods. Eat healthy and eat well. Because all the kids want to be like their friends. Yes. They go home and say, Mom, I want that salad that my friend had. Yeah. Yeah. And it was delicious. And I don't like salads, but this was good. You, you hear that, and that's that's what it's all about. Talking about beets, Cliff, high in vitamin Bs. Really? Yeah. And so oh. when we're stressed, oh. vitamin Bs in our body get depleted. Okay. And this is definitely one that we all need to supplement because uh, our vitamin C and B are water-soluble. Yep. So yep. we're losing these vitamins daily. Ooh. And so uh, C is great for developing a proper immune system. You know, things like um, oranges, bell peppers, strawberries have high amounts of vitamin C. However, the strawberries that you're eating, make sure they're organic because uh, they actually hit the um, the dirty dozen list uh, this year. That are, that are full of uh, pesticides. Pesticides. Yeah, Ooh. Affecting our gut health. Yep, yep. Yeah. So you want to make sure that one's organic, but always making, uh, you know, this is one that I would recommend vitamin C and B okay. picking up from um, Joanne's Nutrition World uh, because this is going to help support 
you know, bad bacteria, viruses, and keep them at bay to Remember prevent vitamin any infections. C for citrus, B from beets. Yes. Just remember beets, citrus, and well, uh, how about well, we have a glass of orange juice with breakfast once in a while, uh, but but that's drinking something along with food. So you'd want to, what would you want to do? You'd want to separate the the orange juice as maybe a snack between breakfast and lunch or something. Yeah, like that? probably thirty minutes after you you know have a great. Okay, 30 Loaded, nutrient-dense breakfast. I know some cultures like beet juice. I've seen it. Yes. I've seen it. Now, when's a good time uh, to, to drink the beet juice? Ha- about a half hour after eating? About 30 or? minutes, yeah. Wow. Right afterwards, yeah. Okay. About 30 minutes. So when you go out there to the all-you-can-eat bar, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, you, you, you figure, well, I can have some of that over there because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make me a salad that's going to have no calories in it, you know. <laughs> yes. And they don't have the beets grated for you over there. They don't have, well, they might have some oranges, but uh, but you're going to want to drink something. And, and for some reason, we all like to either drink water or tea or something with our meal. And we should really, really not do that. We should wait 30 minutes, no matter what the, the liquid is that we're going to intake. Most oftentimes, the reason why we are wanting to eat with our meal is because we're not chewing it properly. Ah, we're not chewing it properly. The saliva is not mixing properly. Exactly. So, so the water substantiates the saliva and you wash it down. That's so once you good. once you start chewing your food properly, mm-hmm. you'll notice the digestion pro- digestive process a little easier. You're able to swallow a little easier so it's not hard. Yeah. So you don't need to reach for that water. Oh, yeah. So I challenge everyone today just to give that a shot, you know, try not drinking um, with the meal, okay. uh, but chew your food yeah. efficiently. Right. Make sure savor, to your food. savor the taste, yeah. the flavor Absolutely. of these herbs. And spices. That's another thing. We don't take our time eating enough to actually taste the stuff anymore. We yeah. we, we, we wolf down a sandwich or we, we'll, we'll hurry up and have uh, maybe some soup or something just to be quick and out of there. But uh, but uh, eating it quickly isn't going to help the, the chewing and making sure that the, the saliva mixes with the food very well and the food is completely uh, uh, disassembled. <laughs> in, in, yeah, in the we chewing. lose the nutrients. Yeah, the yeah. nutrients will be gone. So once again, this is why we should, we should supplement Wow. Now, moving on to fermented foods. Ooh. You know, just like the Asian countries do, we, we should do that as well. Wow. So some examples are like a kimchi, sauerkraut, mm. uh, organic yogurt with no sugar added. Ooh, okay. Yeah, these are great um, ways to get fermented foods in our diet. When we look at uh, foods that are fermented, this does contain probiotics. And so probiotics definitely help our digestive system. So, you know, the probiotics are bacteria that colonize in the gut and help fight off infections. So our digestive system, our stomach, our intestines, and our gut is our second brain. So we want to make sure we're nourishing and fueling that second brain. I remember, uh, if we're we're talking about fermented uh, food, I remember a mushroom that we cultured in in a in a in a big mason jar, <laughs> and with with brown tea or black yes. tea, yes, sambuco, kombucha. kombucha, 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 yes, and uh, it kind of had a, a fermented flavor to it. It was kind of had a yucky flavor, but like an acidic, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. but but it was really good, made you healthy, and we had some fun with it because it what it does it grows in layers in the jar, yeah, and you just add more tea every now and then, but when you use it. You don't you don't filter anything. You just go ahead and you you you, you drink just the the tea that's in it. Yes, it, it absorbs all the nutrients and and of course ferments from the from the mushroom, which is kind of a clear, gel like look to it, and grows in flat layers like pancakes. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. You know, when I first met my wife, uh, she opened my fridge and I used to grow the brew my own kombucha, and yeah. she's like, "What are you doing in the What's fridge? That? That's what weird. is this science experiment <laughs> that you're doing?" That's what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like a science experiment. <laughs> yes, oh. yeah, but it's also fun um, oh, yeah. to to do, but can be very timely um, uh, project. Oh yeah, but yeah. you can find many of these um, on the store shelves. Okay. Um, I I remember I had some. Uh, I believe Joanne does carry this in the store as well. I obtained some once. I don't. I don't remember if it was Joanne or it, it might have been uh, uh, Peggy. It might have been Peggy Ranger. It might have been Doctor Jason Schwartz. He was a uh, uh, one of these uh, folks that did these nutritional shows with us over the years. But uh, 
I obtained a sample of it somehow. It was in a jar, and all I had to do was add tea to it. Yep. But, uh, but there are other You just feed it, foods. and that's yeah. how it survives. Okay. Yeah, so it's a symbiotic relationship. What are some of the other uh, uh, fermented foods, not drinks? <laughs> fermented, fermented <laughs> so foods. kimchi, um, sauerkraut. Okay. You know, uh, you can ferment these things on your own with okay. just a little vinegar. Some of them do require sugar because that does feed the good bacteria. Could you use brown sugar instead? Or? I would recommend using like coconut palm sugar. Ah, yeah. Um, okay. You can use turbinado, making sure it's coming from a good organic source. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, the next thing I want to do uh, talk about here is the increasing our omega-3 fatty acids. Oh, yes, our brain food. Uh, brain food. Yeah. Uh, yes. And uh, once again, this is definitely going to help decrease stress. Yep. When you think about stress, brain fog, your brain, you know, 80% of it is, you know, fat. The yeah. insulation of our brain, fatty mm -hmm. substance. So we want to support our body by getting proper fats in our diet and our proper nutrition, our fats. supplementation. Because frankly, we're not eating fish every day. No. Right? And the fish that we are eating every day, I'll be tell you something. If Most eating, likely toxic. Yeah. If you're eating freshwater fish in the summertime, you've got parasites in some of that. Yes. And uh, saltwater fish, cold water saltwater fish from the cold water, like salmon and other... Uh, Species of fish that, that grow in uh, cold, cold salt water, they're the ones with the right kind of fish oils in them. To yeah, this, right? yeah. In our office, we carry some basic ones, but if you have any particular questions, definitely call into Joanne's um, Nutrition World, okay. and they can guide you on which one. Just you know, let them know what you're looking for, what your goals are, and they can direct you right to the right supplement for that. Because when we look at our f sources of omega threes, they're coming from our cold water mm -hmm. um, fish, wild caught fish, uh, grass fed meats, uh, grass fed beef, uh -huh. raw walnuts, flax seeds, hemp and chia seeds. Wow. When you look at the standard American diet, the yeah. sad diet, we're not getting this stuff in. So this is why we need to increase our omega threes. Wow! So we don't get cancer, we don't get yeah. an immune condition, um, poor immune response. Grandma used to give us cod liver oil, and it tasted awful. <laughs> Do I they remember ever having that when I was growing up. You no, know, oh, you're lucky. <laughs> uh, you're lucky. You never heard of Father John's medicine? Have you ever seen that? No. It's something in a bottle that's kind of brown and, and yucky looking, mm -hmm. you know, and, and smells like somebody put a fish in a blender. Cod liver oil wasn't very good either. However, today, they they have ways that you can take these supplements without having that yucky cod liver oil taste, right? Yeah, yeah. And so what, a little more about uh, this is one that we need to supplement along with our vitamin Bs and Cs, okay. uh, making sure you're having a good multivitamin. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, Janet, Nutrition World, and Joanne, they will definitely tell you that you want to make sure you're taking your multivitamin. Which include minerals. Minerals, right? too, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, with your fatty acid, so okay. your o your fish oils. Okay. Because the ADKNE that's found in the multivitamin will need that fatty component from okay. your fish oil to help the absorption rate. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I love this stuff because there's always a science behind it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and if you can get it down without the, the nasty cod liver oil flavor yes. of yesteryear. <laughs> so I've, I better. have many patients that do complain of that fishy taste or that burping the bur yeah, the aspect. Burping. Yeah. And what I tell them to do is take it at night oh, okay. right before bedtime. Yeah. And uh, they never come back saying they've had issues. <laughs> oh. So that seems like a little fix there. A little experience helps, yeah. Yeah. Um, also... That does say if they're taking it during lunchtime that their digestive process isn't working properly. So that opens up a can of worms to, oh, wow, we need to look at your digestive system. Yeah, because everything else you eat is going to cause a little stomach gas here and there. And all you yeah. have to do is get a little burp going. And, and all of a sudden, oh, there's that. Ugh. Well, that's that's what I don't like or didn't like about cod liver oil. Mm -hmm. But the supplements you take today are using a little gel type of uh, caps, right? Yes, gel capsules. And so it's... Yeah, you're not putting it in a spoon and putting it in your mouth and swallow it. You're, you're, it's already contained in a in a digestible uh, cap. Mm -hmm. That's uh, and it's probably not going to taste too bad when you burp it up. It'll still have a little bit of a flavor, but it's not like cod liver oil. Oh my god! Yeah, and um, many um, of the community they're going more plant based. So I always get the question, 
well, how do I get my omega threes if it's so important and um, I'm only eating plants? I'm you know vegetarian. Yeah. How do I get my omega threes? You can actually eat a salad with omega threes in it. Yes. So like Veg- your oils, like yeah. coconut oils, okay. um, avocado oil, but also taking some algae capsules. Ooh, okay. Because the algae is going to be high in fat content as well. Okay. Yes. Wow. Uh, but you want to li- look out for the, the, the toxicity of this because the algae is grown on the floor of the ocean, and many of the mercury issues are down there as well. Yeah, and other So issues. that opens a can of worms for toxic issues. So you want to make sure that the algae um, supplement that you're getting is pure grade. It's safe. Uh, there's been tests on it that doesn't contain any kind of toxicity issues. Mm. So these are going to be in the, you know, the cold water areas. Yeah. Yeah. Not in the lakes of uh, por- of, uh, of Florida. No. <laughs> no. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I used to like to catch, well, freshwater catfish and, and freshwater bass. Uh, really good to eat until one, one summer day when I was cleaning one of the bass. I noticed these little round spots here mm-hmm. and there in the meat. And uh, looked at them and realized that these are parasites. They were actually ah. worms in the in the meat, the muscle of the bass. And uh, from then on, it's like, I don't ever eat bass in the summertime ever. No. Catch it in the winter, catch and release in the summer. Yeah. And that's when it comes to our nutrition once again. We want to eat what's in season. Right. And you want to you want to try to prefer the cold water fish, fish versus that, yeah. the hot yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hot, water warming, stuff. fresh water stuff. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Ew, I know we had to go there. Hate to go there. Yeah. <laughs> but but then again, uh, you, sometimes we have to get graphic, but uh, we understand we understand, but uh, but some of it's gross. Yes, and, and talking about gross uh, toxins, our last essential that I want to touch on before we have to leave okay. now is um, avoid smoking. Oh, yeah. So there's some great supplements that um, we can help you with uh, for anyone that needs to uh, and that wants to stop smoking because smoke actually contains thousands of chemicals and decreases our immune system and ability to fight off any type of infections. Also gives you carcinogens. Yes, you know, top like carcinogens. Wow. And, uh, you know, I guess I guess you would digest some of that uh, nicotine and smoke because it goes in your mouth. You, you swallow saliva. So whatever's in that filter or in that cigarette is going to wind up in your digestive system. Digestive system into your muscles. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Definitely, from the digestive yeah. system. It goes everywhere. Um, wow. You want to consume alcohol in moderation. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? I didn't say eliminate. Yeah, yeah just once a day, from morning till night, but just once. <laughs> once a day. Uh, <laughs> so too much alcohol can actually weaken the immune system. It yeah. does put a stress and yeah. a hamper on the body's ability to fight off any, once again, moderation infection. And everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, minimizing exposure to environmental toxins. So like the mercury that's found in the ocean floor. Yeah. So we want to make sure the fish that we're eating are the cold water. They're you know, toxic levels are very low. Mm-hmm. Any type of um, PCBs, which are polychlorinated uh, biphenyls mm-hmm. and bisphenol A's, mm-hmm. which are found in bottles, making sure we don't keep oh, our plastic, plastic bottles. Yeah, that, that's another thing. Now, uh, do you look at the bottom of the bottle? There's a number. There's a number on it. What are the Good There's numbers and the bad numbers for the I don't know models. those offhand, but okay. I, I should. Well, we'll look. I'll, I could look that up on Google. Because yes. There's some plastics that are considered bad, and we're drinking spring water out of a, a dangerous plastic bottle. Yes. Know? What And how long has that been sitting in the store shelf? You know, how what, long was it in the warehouse for? Yeah. And, and, and how about this? What if you take that bottle of spring water that's all closed up and sealed, lay it in the sun for a couple of days, what happens? The plastic leaches into the water. Yeah, and also it affects the molecules. So you, our hydration content gets very small. Mo- lower. Most water has the uh, components for algae too, and when you have a bottle of spring water that's green on the inside, it's been laying <laughs> in the sun for a while. You, ew, you got running to issues. Yeah, so make sure. And, and you know, I've always when I drink coffee, I don't use a plastic cup. I use a, a ceramic cup or a glass cup. Mm-hmm. You know, I won't. Good. I don't like the plastic. Yeah, it just doesn't taste right <laughs> to me. So, Cliff, these are the five essentials that we teach our patients on a normal and monthly basis when we have our seminars and lectures. That's why you have such happy patients. You don't just 
adjust them. No, we take care of their nutrition needs. Right. Uh, we take care of their mindset, uh, get oxygen into their body, and minimize their toxins. Overall wellness is Overall the goal. health and wellness, holistic living. And so I want to invite everyone out to, or anyone that's listening, uh, uh, if you want to learn more about cancer and how not to get it, we have that um, seminar happening on November 2nd at my office in Tradition, at Tradition Family Chiropractic. We only have 40 spaces available. And if you're watching on YouTube, there's right information. Now. Yeah, information on the screen. 32 right now? Yes. So okay. we have eight more tickets available. You can get your ticket on Eventbrite. Dot com okay. just search tradition family chiropractic right. or give our office a call that number is 772-345-0060 the reality here folks is uh, cancer it's projected to grow uh, to the number one cause of death by year 2020 we're almost there so i want to give you guys proper key initiatives on not how to be one of those statistics to mm -hmm. get cancer like skin uh, colon cancer prostate breasts and even lung cancer. So if this is something that sparks your interest, give us a call at 772-345-0060. We will have fun raffles, giveaways happening throughout the lecture, throughout the seminar. Uh, for the first 10 guests, uh, you will get a $5 Nutrition Smart gift card. And we'll have a light lunch catered by three natives. Oh. So make sure you get registered. I think we only have like eight more tickets available okay. on eventbrite.com. And once again, it was great being on the show. We miss Joanne today, but she will definitely be back next week. With a story, I'm sure. Yes, I, I can't wait to listen to hear she, this story. She has these awesome adventures, you know. <laughs> You got Never a web, dealt you, with four kids, right? You, yeah. you got a website over there, like traditionhealth.com? We do. Traditionhealth.com. You can also go to that website, look on the events, uh -huh. and click on it, and it'll take you to the to the registration for this event. And, of course, information uh, about this event is on the screen if you're watching this on YouTube, because all of our archives go to YouTube, even the ones with Dr. Ravi. So you can go through the archives of uh, Joanne's World of Nutrition and, uh, and find Dr. Ravi's visits once a month. Your third Thursday of every month? Third Thursday of every month. Third Thursday. Remember that Dr. Ravi with Joanne as a co-host. What a wonderful uh, connection there. A chiropractor and nutrition specialist. They both work hand in hand for overall wellness inside and out. Wow. Thank you for having me. Hey. Mm -hmm. You know, time flies around here. It does. Have, we have fun. We're having too much fun. You've been listening to Joanne's World of Nutrition. Be well, everyone. Dr. Uh, Ravi in for Joanne this week. Third Thursday of every month, Dr. Ravi joins D uh, Joanne. And, of course, you can find out more by uh, calling uh, either 772-345-0060. Visit traditionhealth.com. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. Webcaster to the world on WPSL.com, Google Home, and Alexa. Have a great week.